else on YouTube, welcome back to Destiny Tracker. I am PTT and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. Today, Guardians, we are talking about the beta. It is only a few days away now. So we thought we would break down all the information and give it to you guys in one super quick video. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. The most important thing that you guys are probably wondering is the open beta date. So we're going to put it up on screen now. July 18th to July 20th is the PlayStation 4 Early Access Beta. That means, Guardians, if you pre-ordered Destiny 2, be it in a shop, be it on digital download, you will be able to play between 18th and the 20th of July as Early Access. However, if you're an Xbox Guardian, and again, you pre-ordered and you have an Early Access edition, then you are going to be playing between the 19th and the 20th of July. On the 21st of July to the 23rd, it becomes an open beta, so that is your chance, Guardians. If you haven't pre-ordered yet, maybe you're kind of sitting on the fence as to whether or not to get Destiny 2. This is your chance to jump in for free, have a little play, see what you think. We're going to cover what kind of activities you can play in a minute, but I do highly recommend if you play Destiny 1 and you're a little bit on the fence about Destiny 2, you make sure 21st, 23rd, you guys jump on, get in that open beta, test everything you can, and make your decision from there. Next up then, we are going to talk about the activities. That is something a lot of people have been asking. So again, I'm going to pull up an image here. I will leave a link in the description down below to the Bungie.net weekly article where they actually covered all the information about the beta. But you can see what you are going to expect in the beta. You're going to be able to play the entire Homecoming mission. This is the opening mission and cinematics from the Destiny 2 campaign. If you guys have been following Destiny 2 information out of E3, out of the Destiny 2 reveal, anything like that, you've probably already seen this mission but it is going to be pretty cool to go hands on with it next then for you pvpers out there you're going to get to play countdown enter the crucible to battle other guardians in a brand new mode attack or defend the base on a new map custom built to support this new game type don't know about you, I've seen an awful lot of footage coming out again of E3, the Destiny 2 reveal. Countdown looks very, very good to me. And personally, I am excited to see how the 4v4 is going to go. But, you know, if Countdown's not your thing, then the traditional good old control is also coming back. The original standard for Crucible Combat is back with some impactful changes. Controller zones on another new map built with this objective in mind. Now... I have to say, personal opinion, I'm honestly not sure how 4v4 control is going to play out, but I am excited to get in and try it out, as hopefully you guys are as well. You're going to get a hand on the invited Spire Strike, okay? This is the strike, again, you've seen it out of E3, you saw it at the reveal. Strike at the heart of the Vex Stronghold, bring two willing allies, or let matchmaking introduce you to a fire team of Guardians. Again, like everything else, I'm just excited to get my hands on Destiny 2. I'm not too fussed with what I'm doing, so long as I get to take my new Sentinel Titan through the game. And, talking of the new Sentinel Titan, as you can see next on the list, we have new subclasses. The new fighting style for each class will be at the ready. Choose from the Dawnblade, Warlock, Arc Strider, Hunter, or Sentinel Titan. Very, very happy to get my hands on that Sentinel Titan. As always, though, guys, I would love to know your opinions in the comment section down below. What are you going to be playing first? What, like, what is your main through Destiny 1? Are you going to keep that going into Destiny 2? Or are you guys interested in checking out some of the other Guardians as well? Finally, then, the farm. The farm isn't actually going to be accessible for the entire beta. However, for one hour on Sunday, July 23rd, we're inviting you to tour the new social space in Destiny 2. Starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time, that's PST. If you're in the UK, it will be 6 p.m. You're welcome to kick the ball into the net or befriend a chicken. Most vendors and services will be offline. Our goal are to see how many of you it can accommodate at once. Now we know, Guardians, that the farm, the new social space, is going to have an increase in players compared to what we currently have in the tower. So it's going to be pretty cool to see what it's actually like hands-on and see if we can find any secrets. So a lot of people have been talking about whether progression from the beta will carry on into Destiny 2. Sadly, Guardians, that is not going to be the case. You can sink in as much time as you wish to into the beta when you start up the game September 6th you are going to be back to zero, square one, and nothing you had in the beta is going to continue. There is, however, one 
rule there and there's a bit of an exception to it you will get a beta emblem similar to destiny 1 where we had a beta emblem destiny 2 is doing exactly the same thing i will put it up on screen now as you can see it looks pretty cool you can kind of see to me it reminds me of the northern knights actually um above looking down on earth possibly but it's nice to know that we will have something to say yes we played the beta and you didn't. <laughs> it's pretty cool nonetheless. But that is it for now, YouTube. That is all the information coming out of the beta. Again, links will be in the description down below to the weekly update by Bungie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Let me know all of your thoughts and comments in this section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. There is plenty more Destiny videos coming your way. But for now, Guardians, thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, we'll catch you all soon.